This next story has everything. <laughs> everything you want in a drama-filled story. There are scorned lovers and millions of dollars in missing artwork. Such a mystery. It is a bizarre investigation, to say the least, for the police in town in a quiet town of Lantana. Wow, what an eye-opener. But one officer is finally speaking out about how his team cracked this case. And now Zalana Quillen fills us in on this very interesting story. Oh, huh? That's right. Shannon, well, we're finally seeing photos of the crime scene and the art. These are just some of the very expensive pieces owned by 80 year old Nicholas Zulas of New York. He kept this artwork, some of it very explicit, in a home he bought for his mistress on Hypoluxo Island. Now, after falling out with his girlfriend, this art disappeared, and it was up to Officer Eddie Tafkar to help bring it all back. It's like something out of a movie. It was overwhelming. Uh ex-girlfriend and you know with the flashy cars there as you know there are a couple of Bentleys and two Ferraris. Lantana police officer Eddie Tavkar's mission finds the millions of dollars of stolen art. Just another day. <laughs> in September Lantana police got a frantic call from a man in New York. His ex-mistress Stacy Clyette and her new boyfriend stole at least 15 million dollars worth of paintings, relics and statues from his Hypoluxo Island home. She was upset um, you know basically the the ride was over. You know, the good life was coming to an end. So they shadowed Clyette and her lover for several days. Police tracked the suspects to where they stashed the art, this warehouse in Lake Worth. We got her in the nick of time because if that U-Haul full of that artwork would have would have uh, gone, probably would have never found it. Tavkar spent countless hours cataloging all 200 pieces of stolen art. Take a look. Much of it exotic in nature and too graphic to show on TV. A mannequin of a woman, and it was very lifelike. In fact, it had human hair. They even found ancient relics, possibly dating back to the Aztecs. You can work a narcotics case, it's done and over with. But with this, uh, it's different because every piece is unique. And, it's, and some of the pieces, it's like holding history in your hands. Thanks to Tavkar's team, the artwork is now heading back to its owner in New York. Case closed. I hope it's the last one. <laughs> Now, Christie's and Sotheby's auction houses, who had a stake on the art, put a lot of pressure on the police to find the stolen pieces. Of course, all of it was found. Now, Stacey Clayette and her boyfriend are out on bond. Their trials are pending. She is still living in her ex-lover's home. I knocked on the door hoping to talk to her, but no one answered. Shannon, back to you. Wow.